Welcome back to Melanie Loves Death Metal, where I do half-ass metal reviews. This is another half-ass metal review today. Talking about the very divisive Blood Incantation. What the hell is this called again? Absolute Elsewhere. <clears throat> Good morning, it's early in the morning. This, this came in yesterday. A week early, it comes out this Friday, October 4th. I don't know why I got it a week early. Stop bitching to me that you haven't gotten your pre-order yet. I don't know what the fuck you want me to do. Do you want me to go to King's Road Merch? Do you want me to go and, like, physically pick up your copy and deliver it for you? <laughs> pay me a million dollars and I'll do that, alright? Get back to me. I got a PayPal. You can send me the money. This is a phenomenal album. I absolutely love it. Not apologetic about it either. I'm happy that they've moved on from that time wave absolute garbage shit that they released two years ago that made me just lose complete trust in the band. And they're back with atmospheric progressive death metal. And I love it. That's that's my review. I don't even know. Steve R. Dodd artwork that's simply phenomenal. He's a an amazing sci-fi artist. Check out his other stuff. This guy, oh, I love his artwork. I'm really glad that they used it on this album. Uh, and yeah, so if you're not familiar with Blood Incantation, if you're new, everybody thinks they're overhyped, pretentious, whatever else, and they don't understand why people love them so much. And when you say that you like them, they will do everything in their power to tell you how much they hate them. That is who Blood Incantation are. They're based out of Colorado. This is their third full-length album. They have two other EPs out, one Interdimensional Extinction, which sounds absolutely nothing like their latest EP that came out two years ago, Time Wave Zero. Uh, they are a death metal band that has completely transitioned into atmospheric. Uh, they use a lot of ambience, and the ambience is still very present on this album, but they also incorporated a lot of prog into here, and it feels like Pink Floyd had been reincarnated into a death metal band, and I'm not complaining because Pink Floyd is one of my all-time favorite bands, unapologetically not gonna say that uh i i love pink floyd um and so yeah when the leads come on and it sounds like david gilmore himself is recording on this album with the band i was sold i absolutely was like yep i'm gonna love this album and i was right i absolutely love this album it is broken up into two different parts um the parts are broken up on streaming into different songs, but the first side, uh, there's this poster. Like, what? What? I don't fucking want this poster. Like, what? What is this? What is this? Give me this. I want this on a poster. What the shit is this? I don't, I don't want these guys on my wall. I don't even like men. I barely put men on my wall. I'm not like that. Give me a fucking naked lady at this point. This poster is awful. My God, I was so pissed when I saw it. It's awful. I'm not even going to put it back in the jacket. I don't even care. If I sell it, you're not getting the fucking poster. There you go. That made me literally angry. Anyway, I like this album a lot. I love progressive metal. I love prog rock. It's been in my blood since I was a very young kid. Genesis and Pink Floyd and Yes and all those bands are some of my all-time favorite bands. So I was really happy that this was proggy. I'm glad that they moved away from that ambient shit. I'm glad that it's not like a half death metal album and a half ambient album like they did with their single that came out last year. Um, it's not going in the jacket. Just really just... Uh, yeah. That's my half-ass review. Uh, I'm not going to go into like an in-depth detail of like, these are all the different elements into it. And like, oh, there's a flute here and there. Like, nah, you got all the YouTubers that are going to do that for you. And they'll do it way better. Robert over at the Metal Meltdown. Uh, probably that guy that wears the mask. What the fuck's his name? Flight of Vicarus or whatever the hell his name is. Something with metal in his name. I don't know. I watch his reviews sometimes. I can't remember his name. I He's got a lot more subscribers than I do. So obviously he's got a following. But he wears a mask. Uh, and then Thralls, the Thralls boys are going to break it down. They're going to do an awesome review on this. You don't... I already showed the vinyl. What am I doing? Uh, you don't need me to say it. I'm a huge Blood Incantation fan up until Time Wave Zero. I love every single one of the releases previously. I was a, such a huge fan of them. Was a fangirl. Collected everything that they put out. I was one of the bidders that won their eBay auctions back in during the pandemic when they were doing some charity auctions. 
I got Star Spawn, original first press Star Spawn from them. They wrote me a letter, all this stuff. I was one of those, like, that was me, okay? And then Time Wave Zero came out, and I was like, God damn it. Where did this band go? There's a bit of pretension here. Some of their interviews were kind of, like, questionable with what they were saying. Like, mm, guys, your ego is a little bit big here. And some people really don't like that. So I'm going to call that out. I'm not going to act like that doesn't exist. Like, yeah, I get why people don't like Buddha Incantation. And I get it. I understand it. I'm not saying you have to like them. I totally, it's just, whatever. I could care less if you don't like them. I just think this album is fantastic. I absolutely love it. I was so happy yesterday. Like, I almost was in tears when I started listening to this. We got the message for side two, which I hadn't heard yet. They released side one, the Stargate, last week. But the message really, really made me happy because it ended up being better, in my opinion. The better side of this. I mean, the whole album is good, but I... What a song! And like I said, it's broken down into different tracks on streaming. It's like the Tablet 1 or the Tablet 2. I don't even remember how it comes off as. Um, but you got a 42 minute, 43 minute long album here. And it's simply phenomenal. So I'm a huge fan. I absolutely love it. I'm so happy that it's back. Uh, I know a lot of people, I have a lot of friends that don't care for this band at all. And I understand a lot of the things that they say. They think they're boring, et cetera, et cetera. I don't think this album is boring whatsoever. I think it's very engaging. It's got moments that are just like very euphoric, I guess you could say. Um, and I don't feel like I have to do drugs in order to listen to it like I did with Time, Time Wave Zero. I don't do drugs. I don't smoke pot, nothing. I'm completely drug-free. I just don't do it. It's just not my thing. I'm not into getting high or anything like that. Uh, and people were telling me, like, oh, just, just go in a dark room, light some candles, smoke a couple joints, and listen to Time Wave Zero, and you'll love it. And I'm just like... <laughs> I'm good. Thanks. That's just not who I am. I, if I have to do that to enjoy an album, the album sucks. So there you go. That was my opinion of Time Wave Zero, but they're back. I mean, there's definitely death metal on here. And man, when it's death metal, it death metals. Um, <laughs> uh, God, I'm so, such a great description. Uh, but I absolutely love, love the prog on here. I love the ambience that they incorporated, and I think it's done really well. It's, there's a great cohesion between the two blends of music. I don't think it's overambitious or over the top. Uh, it's very obvious that they're good at writing this style of music um, and that this is where they wanted to go, and I'm totally fine with that. Totally fine with that. There is There are plenty of death metal bands out there that are just playing straightforward death metal got the brutes going on and the chuggas and whatever else the the buzzsaw guitars like there are plenty of those bands i listen to them all the time it i don't mind a little change in my repertoire of music i am that person now if you don't like that that's totally fine i get it i have some some fan, some friends here that are just i only want the brutes i only want the brutal aggression i only want the in your face nail the hammer to the head, face melting, spewing vomits, shit coming out of our ass, death metal. I get that. Because trust me, 90% of the music I listen to is like that. But I do welcome albums like this. What are you doing, dog? What is going on? What are you doing? Well, that's very innovative of her. Good on her. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Back to the cat. Back to the cat landing. Okay. This is Dolly, my Shiba Inu. They're very cat-like dogs if you don't know the breed. Um, she is four years old. She's she's crazy, but she's such a good little dog. I don't know where the other guy is. He's, oh, he's sleeping behind me. Let's, let me scoot my big ass over so you can see his little butt. His little corgi butt. Yeah, that's Duke. They've been in these videos a lot lately because I record them uh, when nobody's here. And when nobody's here, they hang out with me all day. So... That's all I have today. Very half-assed review, like I said. Um, more stuff coming this week. I don't know when. I, I got time before work to record this. It came yesterday. I wasn't expecting it to come. I didn't get my shipping notification. I, and I went and looked, and I saw that it was in my spam folder. So it was a nice surprise when I saw this sitting outside my door yesterday. I was like, I didn't order anything. Like, there shouldn't be anything coming today. It was this. I was happy. I don't know why you didn't get your pre-order. I can't help you. I don't know why you haven't gotten it yet. 
there's probably many things. And like I said on Facebook, if you follow me on Facebook, it's probably because the band hates you. And that's why you don't have it yet. So I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, if, if you need me to do nothing, let me know because there's literally nothing I can do. So that's all I have. I'll see you guys in the next one.